Good afternoon, you degenerates. It's Frank coming at you. I got a little bit of a review for you today. So, uh, as I'm sure all of you know, all like 15 of you, I got the snap-on neck light. You know, you wear it like this, you can rotate them up and down. Um, I wear a hat when I work, mostly to kind of protect my head still, you know, I hit my head on a lot of stuff. And uh, wearing a hat just kind of gives you a little bit more added protection, at least in my opinion. So a lot of times I'll actually wear them up on my face so that the light actually goes where my eyes go. And uh, my buddy's got a pair of these, and uh, he actually didn't know that they had a dimmable feature. So if you hold the power button, they will, in fact, get dim and then light back up. I use these lights, I usually just wear it all day because, you know, as opposed to me having to hold a flashlight and whatnot, um, I can just turn these on and I still have both my hands. So, and if at any time I need to light up a specific area, you know, I can just, it's a regular flashlight now. So, there are advantages and disadvantages of it. Sometimes it is nice to have a little inspection light, like right in your pocket. But for what I use these for, I love them. So saying that, I ended up, they had them in my favorite color. I got another pair too, so I can just double them up. In my, uh, you know, brand used Matco toolbox review, my drawers were pretty much almost empty. So I've been trying to slowly but surely build my toolbox up a little bit more. You know, hey, it's expensive. This is going to be a long process. And a lot of people take like 10, 20 years to get their box to where they want it to be. So, sorry, the shop is right next to the road. And um, there's a lot of road noise. So if that bothers you, uh, sorry. But I picked these up. These are the 3 8 deep. I think they go from from 8 to 19. Well, that one's uh, a little bit screwed up in the press. Might just have to swap that one out. Whatever. It's 8 to 19. I use 3 8 pretty much like over almost everything else. And uh, the fact that they had an 8 to 19 set in the deeps, I don't have any 3 8 deeps. I have quarter inch deeps, I have 3 8 shallows, but I don't have any 3 8 deeps, so I I just kind of bit the bullet and bought them. I asked a few people, I'm just like, should I just go craftsman? And they just said, hey, snap on's the best in the business, right? I would agree. I mean, you got Matt Cohen Cornwell, I'm not in any way like shunning you guys, but um, uh, no, I said this is going to be the last socket set that I buy of this, unless it gets stolen. These get stolen. You got a one-way ticket to me kicking your ass. So I also picked these up. These are uh, fuel line, fuel line tools. But you say so you don't, you can clamp off a fuel line or a brake line and not hurt the line. You know, a lot of people use little vice grips or something along those lines. And, um, I wanted to just be safe, so I picked some of these up. They're Blue Point. I think they're like $15 for both, so I figured they were pretty good. Got a 3 ACU joint. Oh, yeah. You already know. Everybody loves U joints. I got a couple locking extensions. I don't really have any half inch extensions, so I figured I'd just pick up a, a 3 inch. That's a locking. And I picked up a, I think that's a 6 inch. Here, hold on, let me check. I'm just kidding. Locking extension. I've used them, I've liked them so far. I comboed it up with this little sweet sweetness right here. Let me get the logo out because I'm a sellout. I love using this thing. Sorry, the top of my head's cut off there, you know? Not like anybody wants to see my nasty bug, anyways. Well, I picked this up. The reason I like it is, uh, you know, you can break a little whatever loose, and then once it's loose, I can just flip it. Boop, boop. No, you just makes things really easy, really nice. So that for right now is what I've got. I actually want to do a little light test with these in the garage. So I'm going to drop that on the door, and I'm going to put 
these on and show you how bright it can get because they are really bright. I think they're 200 lumens. They're really bright and I think they're really effective for what they are. Going dark. Sure, it's a little bit dark right now. I'm going to light up my toolbox and see how well these do. Boom! Let there be light. Cool thing about these, I can adjust one up and one down. So now I can see the floor. Now I can also see upwards a little bit. I can put them on my neck, have them pointed down, and have them pointed up like if I'm laying on my back and working on a car under it. Really, really nice. Now that I've got two, just for, just for, you know, for the sake of the video, they're doubled up now. Here's just one, here's the other, that's just the top one, now the both on. I don't see how you're going to need much more light than that. Here, one more thing before I ended this video. I actually picked up one of these little blue point magnets that you always see on the truck. It's a little extendable. It's not a flex or anything. It's a good little pocket piece. I kept asking my Snap-on guy what this, what this little doohickeyler right here was for. It's like, hey man, like call me retarded, but I don't really know what that's for. And uh, he explained to me, like you ever use a magnet and you're going to pick up a socket or whatever you drop in the engine bay, you hook up to the socket and now your magnet's like magnetizing onto everything. This little sleeve right here prevents that from happening. So when you go in there and you pick up your socket, you ain't got to worry about it sticking to all this crap and then you losing your freaking socket or whatever you're picking up. So I thought that was really cool and if somebody didn't know that, well now you know. I feel like an idiot for not knowing that. It makes so much sense now. You're like, retarded. I never claimed to be smart. So that's it for today's video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you don't like the video, you know, hit the thumbs down. Please consider subscribing. I'm trying to build a channel so I can do cool stuff. I have a lot of good things in mind. This money is a problem, you know, obviously. And I hate to do this because I never do this and I would never do this. But if at any point you would like to donate to my addiction of doing weird off the wall things. I will leave a Venmo in the bottom. Please hit that subscribe button and I've got some awesome videos coming at you very soon.